Hello, my dear students. Very good morning, all of you. In last lecture, we discussed about two alkyl keto effect. Today, I am going to teach you a three alkyl keto effect. Three alkyl keto effect. In which, uh, suppose I am taking one example of this cyclohexane, and it is a cyclohexanone. Cyclohexanone. In that there is a carbonyl group which is from bottom side, and here is two axial hydrogen at the alpha hydrogens. Okay, these are alpha because these are below the plane, but they are in axial position. And here is also hydrogen, but this hydrogen is replaced by the carbonyl group there is no present of any hydrogen group because the valency of carbon is 4 okay and it is satisfied by this carbonyl group hence there is no any hydrogen and if suppose there are only one interaction is possible okay because if suppose there is present of one hydrogen then there are possible two interactions are possible or three it may be three this one two and three interactions are possible but there is no present of any hydrogen because the hydrogen uh, because the present of this carbonyl group hence there are is only one interaction is play oh, happen occurs suppose this hydrogen is replaced by any alkyl group that is ch3 group there is presence of one interaction only one interaction And this is a 1,3 diaxial, 1,3 diaxial interaction. Okay, there is present of only one interaction in CH3 and hydrogen. Okay, only one interaction and this 1,3 diaxial interaction that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and this is called as 3 alkyl keto effect. This is called as 3 alkyl keto effect. In last lecture, we discussed the ax because of the axial and equatorial, there is a change in energy also. Okay, and hence here is also. Uh, change in energies some of the axials have different energy and some of the equatorial has different energy suppose this ch3 at the equatorial then it shows a different energies okay now the next point is for the polar atoms effect of adjacent polar atoms okay this is a three alkyl keto effect now the effect of polar atoms effect of adjacent polar atoms suppose one example is here this is our cyclohexane and there is a x x is at equatorial position x is any polar atom or any halogen And here is, suppose this X means any polar or halogen at the axial position. Okay, now as we know the halogen has six pair of, uh, six lone pairs. Okay, this halogen carries six lone pairs and oxygen have two lone pairs of electrons. Here is also this oxygen has two lone pair of electron and this halogen has six pairs pair of lone pair of electron and due to the this lone pair of halogen and lone pair of this oxygen there is repulsion is occurs okay there is repulsion repulsion because of the lone pair of this 
halogen and this oxygen there is present of their repulsion and hence there is a high energy it is unstable and it carries a high energy because of this repulsion and here is no any repulsion okay hence it has a low energy and it is more stable as we know equatorial has a more stable but in case of these x is any halogen atoms they are any polar atoms suppose then there is a repulsion is occurs and due to this repulsion it carries a high energy and hence it is unstable this equatorial halogen or polar atom is unstable but here it is the axial halogen is stable because of the less repulsion and it contains a less energy okay you get it means equatorial is unstable or less stable and this high more stable or there it is a stable okay now the next point is by using the ir frequencies ir frequency that is hco the frequency of this carbonyl in by using ir the frequency is 1740 unit is centimeter inverse okay and for ir for this carbonyl group adjacent to this halogen is 1720 centimeter per inverse there is a difference is only 20 degree uh, sorry 20 centimeter inverse okay the, this equatorial halogen and the ir frequency of this carbonyl due to, because of this equatorial halogen there it is only 1740 cm inverse and here the axial halogen and the frequency of this ir frequency of this carbonyl is 1720 cm inverse the difference is only 20 cm inverse and because the difference is only 20 cm inverse because there is a dipole movement presence of the overlapping of this dipole movement okay there is overlapping of this dipole movement and hence the difference is it has uh, the equatorial has a high frequency than this axial hal halogen okay hence because of the dipole interaction or overlapping of this p orbital because overlapping of this p orbital p orbitals of carbonyl of carbonyl group and cx or any halogen atom or group now by using the uv frequency or uv rays the next point is for first one is Uh, first one is polar which is high unstable more stable next one is our ir frequency and third one is uv frequency suppose by using uv because of this there is a more overlapping of p orbital okay there is a overlapping between the p orbital and hence it has a longer wavelength suppose this is a and this is b b has a longer wavelength and hence suppose it has a longer wavelength and called as red shift or it is also called as bathochromic shift and it is also called as bathochromic shift and a in a has a shorter wavelength and hence called as blue shift or hypsochromic shift okay you get this in three alkyl keto effect suppose first one is three alkyl keto effect and in the next point is polar atoms effect of polar of adjacent carbonyl group okay 
Now, in this, IR frequency of this is 1740 centimeter inverse and here for B is 1720 centimeter inverse. The difference is only 20 centimeter, if, uh, 20 centimeter inverse because of this dipole interaction or by dipole movement. Okay, now you UV, sorry U, UV for B has a longer wavelength and A has a shorter wavelength and hence shorter wavelength hence called as a blue shift and for longer wavelength called as a red shift. Okay, thank you.